The blue door! We made it! You know, I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem. The dwarf again. Sindri? Another one here. Hmm. This giant's a sorceress. Her name is Groa. Looks like she had visions. Did Odin kill her for her book? supposed to be in here. Quiet. Did you hear that? Stay alert and by my side. Hey, when we make it to the light, how do you think we get it into the Bifrost? The witch said to step into it. She did? When she was ripped away from this realm. Oh, how did I miss that? You are more concerned with our safety than our goal. Quiet! I have him. Your knife boy. That was close. Do not stray from me, boy. You don't gotta tell me. Gina, Duna! Another one! Stay back. Check our flank. Yes, sir.
The light. It's making the whole temple reappear. It's the source of all of it. Wait. It's... It's singing. I hear... I hear her! I told you I heard her! Do you think she's in there? Ah! Ah! Ugh. That really hurt. I felt like my hand was on fire. Stay here. But I want Stay go. here. Only use it as a last resort. You're giving me your axe? I am letting you hold my axe. It is not a gift. Still. me here alone. Atreus? Alone with him. He always leaves. He's never here. He doesn't want me and he never will. doesn't know me. Doesn't seem to want to. I'm strong. I'm smart. I'm not what he thinks I am. I know better. He doesn't talk to me. Doesn't teach me. It should have been him. Do you hear me? Him, not you. Except, I don't mean that. You know I love him. I just wish he was better. I know he can be. So if he tries, I'll try. But if he doesn't, please come back. I know you're out there somewhere. Only moments. No, you've been gone a long, <coughs> long time. I didn't know what to do. You left me here again. <coughs> Why don't you care? <sighs> That's impossible. We should go before they come back. I hope you got what you needed. Yes. Look, 
There's our exit. But there's no light to make a bridge. We're trapped. And the witch's bowstring is useless. Boy, your bow. Hold it out. On my mark, loose your arrow into the stone. It worked. We can now make our way back. Come. You can reach the bowl now. Uh-huh. Anytime you're ready. What does this mean? See. Remember the shape. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. Greatest man or tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah, and see. Stupid rails. So, it's a door after all. We really got to go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Ben. Did we help the wrong side? I... Let me guess. You're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. Can we go now? Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah.
Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here- If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Bye. You wouldn't even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. More now you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? I do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? came back from another realm. And we met your brother. Wait, not in that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on her girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. So who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch our step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. Well, there's the Black Breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. Look it. She was right. Come, let us finish this.
Then we climb. You know, Mother said the Giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Teodenheim? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. The mouth! We made it! More black breath. Stories of a giant with a deer head. Wonder who he is. What does it say? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree doth know my call. Hmm. The floor boy. That doesn't mean anything. Something's missing. I think there's a second light crystal around here? This must have been important to the Giants. It's like they're testing us. Okay, that looks right. I can almost make it out. Runes! I Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Go ahead. Sure. Ross. What you doing? Oh, thought maybe there'd be a bridge. Huh. Your giants need to test us further. There's a crystal in that torch holder. Should I light it? Yes, that helps, right? Guess we have to go down again. Ah! These passages seem too small for giants. Why do you laugh? Oh, you're serious. I am always serious. I forget. Mom always said that there was a dangerous history. Giants are just a race, like elves and hold your phone. It doesn't mean they're big. What of the world serpent? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. But there's only one. This claw reaches the summit. Our goal is near. All right. How do we use it? I think I see how this works. The claw's on one side, and if we get this unstuck. Oh, I think the rope stuck under that rock. That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir.
heavy. No way. You did it! I think we can make the rope wheel work now. Might give us the way to the top. Back to the wheel. Do you think this goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is, and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Not the top. But we're closer. Wait! That one's not broken! There's a note. A giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. Wow. What did you write? I asked them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come, boy. It is a long way up. Another mining room. It may not be as long a way up as we thought. Too heavy.
far do you think we'll be able to see? The lake? The world serpent? Our house? We will see when we get there. Until then, eyes open. Whoa! Atreus! I'm fine. I just lost my balance for a moment. You know, for someone so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. I guess. Not a terribly fun way to live, though. farther do we have to go? I do not know. Think we'll get attacked again? Definitely. Oh boy. Yes. Now be ready. What then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. 
And we must continue your trading. Okay. We're almost at the summit. Nothing's gonna stop us. Go on yourself, boy, and stay behind me. Yes, sir. Sap, and there is power inside. Incredible. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance, I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you. Hey, Oakley! Over here! Nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. 
You deny it all you want, but you saved me, and that deserves compensation. What are these? Rated mistletoe arrows. Straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And uptight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any. Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, oh, never mind. So unclean. Oh, so so unclean. Oh, oh, the small. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Whoa! Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um... Oh, I thought I was doing this. Oh, I see. You figured it out on your own, then. Just... never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just... anything to help you. Yep. Get it gold. We must be near the top. Not long now, Mom. River. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. A broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Steady, boy. Mind your footing. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. I see you brought company this time. It must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me. You two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Baldur, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. 
We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy, check their path. Make sure we're alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. Promise. Just give him time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? And Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old oh, magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, you will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. The boy, the longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Huh? So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. to find the long-lost realm of the giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. So this is the bridge to Yodanon? I guess Mimir will help us figure out how to get through it, if we can bring him back to life. Look 
at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer God. Balder. And you fought him. And won. Yes. One of Odin's sons. Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard. Except for the serpent. He may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind too? Is that why you don't like to talk about- My kind? I mean, your family. Before mother and I. Where you came from. Mother, a father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. break. Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pep. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage! Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Father, she is here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. Now, what's this about a head? Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? <sighs> Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well... Thankfully, his head hasn't decayed much, and his brain is still intact. <sighs> nice clean cut. Cutting off his head, of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water, and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. 
Mimir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are god. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. What? Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mimir, why did Freya spin in your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh... A spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. <laughs> wow. Hey, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. You scared that out? That horn. What needed finding? Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is your name. All right, wish me luck. 
Members me. Why you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh, uh, more no untun kun. Ah, oh, eh, eh, no tun no funo. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Ah, that. You thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. This chisel we seek, what is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <laughs> there was a giant once named Thamur. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother. 
But I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right. Oh, that was uh, something that the uh, fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Well, scrounge around a bit more and we'll build something then. So, Have you made it out of fast in your storeroom yet? Can you guess it? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Armor really liked jewelry, didn't he? Even braided his beard with it. I happen to think he looks dashing. You know, for a snow-covered corpse. Careful! My shop's right here!
Another crystal. Just give the word. Stealthy plan it is not. Now we must free the other strap. Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. That just leaves smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to... Oh... I get it now. Good. How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. What now? Hold tight. Uh, the plan seems ill-advised. Right ahead. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways. What does it say? When time itself is disarrayed, the forward path is retrograde. Retrograde? It's backwards? Those symbols. The seasons? Yeah, but the order's all jumbled. Shouldn't it be winter, spring, summer, autumn? Why start with winter? It's from a song Mother used to sing. Don't I know that one? Winter that... Quiet, Head. Doesn't like music either. Got it. Boy. House. Two and one. Fuck. That's it. Yes. Atreus. That word. Thola. It means endure. Try it. Thola. Well done, lad. Write it again. Thor. Horizon! The energy's lifting the platform! Keep writing. Thor. 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 Head, how is this possible? My guess? Temporal magic. Dangerous stuff the High Vanir gods used to play around with. The ability to freeze time. Happened to be a favorite of Njord himself, in fact. Used to? Why did they stop? Well... Turns out stopping time keeps the sun and moon from streaking across the sky. Unfortunately, it does not stop the wolves that chase them, always looking to sink their teeth in. After that, they decided it was best to leave time alone. I can't get to the
Back to writing, before the floor collapses. Thanks. The boy. Just having a little fun, you big grump. Well, there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. Jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? No. I have you. Right, you know that. Well, well, well. Good. We should keep moving. The chisel tip. 
the man credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that, Head. Never leaves my mind. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go. And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother. The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I can't remember the last time we faced an actual challenge. Or you call this a challenge? An old man in this. Us. What does Odin want? Don't know. Don't care. Come here, half breed. You don't know who that is half. Shut up! Don't call me that! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they need some medicine. Oh, I'm more than happy to teach, brother. Weak as fuck. There's for you. Hang on, lad. Stop it! 
boy! Stay focused! <laughs> <laughs> Boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be alright. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. With that, we can carve the travel room to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. <laughs> <laughs> 